One of the key economic achievements from last week's APEC 2025 held here in Korea was NVIDIA's agreement to directly supply 260,000 advanced GPUs to the South Korean government and four major conglomerates. For more on the deal's significance, its implications, and what it means moving forward, our economics correspondent Park Chunan joins me in the studio. Welcome, Chunan. Thank you for having me. To start us off, could you briefly explain the recent agreement on NVIDIA GPUs and why it's considered such a significant deal for South Korea's AI ecosystem? Of course, Sujin. So during this APEC CEO summit last Friday, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang announced that the company will provide 50,000 advanced GPUs each to the South Korean government, Samsung Electronics, SK Group, and Hyundai Motor Group, along with 60,000 units to neighbor cloud. During the press briefing, Huang said, quote, there's no question in my mind that Korea will build many more AI factories here, not just for the Korean industry, but also because Korea has a chance to be an AI hub for the region. And it has the ability to attract startups that are in other countries to be hosted on a Korea AI cloud. The company also projected that with the addition of 260,000 GPUs to the existing 45,000 here, bringing to the total to over 300,000, South Korea's AI infrastructure and development capacity could expand by as much as 15-fold. Let's take a listen to what Presidential Senior Secretary for AI and Future Planning Ha Jung-woo had to say about last week's chip supply deal. Artificial intelligence, from large language models to physical AI, demands tremendous computing power for training, which is why the NVIDIA GPUs will play a critical role. With 260,000 secured, South Korea now ranks among the global top three, positioning us not just to build AI models, but to develop core AI technologies that drive innovation across industries. Right, so the government says this puts South Korea among the top three global AI leaders, but what does that really mean in practice? And how does it boost the country's standing in the global AI race? Right, Sujin, so although it might seem impressive to hold hundreds of thousands of GPUs, but it's natural to wonder what this number actually means and what they will be used for. For example, AI factories can be run to advance intelligent manufacturing and digital transformation. They could also be used to power AI-driven mobility and advanced robotics. The applications are broad and varied, and there's no doubt that NVIDIA's high-performance GPUs are essential for handling vast amounts of data and carrying out large-scale computations. Let's take a listen to what a professor who studies AI has to say about what it means to acquire NVIDIA's GPUs. Since NVIDIA holds nearly 90% of the global GPU market, high-performance GPUs, essential for advanced physical robots, can realistically only be sourced from NVIDIA. With tens of thousands of GPUs operating like supercomputers, data centers are being built to support large-scale AI training. As more of these systems are established, we expect South Korea's AI ecosystem to grow exponentially. Right, so obviously securing advanced chips is a big win for South Korea. Chinan, are there any concerns about how these chips will actually be used though? Right, Sujin. So I actually spoke to an expert in the field of semiconductors, and what he told me is that there's a risk South Korea could end up having the computing power through chips, but not enough large-scale AI services or data to make full use of it. Let's take a listen. Since South Korea doesn't have large platforms with hundreds of millions of active users like U.S. big tech, it's uncertain whether the country can fully and efficiently utilize such massive GPU capacity. And while companies like Hyundai and Samsung may apply physical AI in manufacturing, it's still questionable whether each really needs as many as 50,000 units. While he questioned their immediate applicability, he acknowledged that securing high-performance chips remains a decisive factor in the global race for AI leadership. Let's take a listen. Since the 260,000 GPUs will be delivered gradually over several years, it could be feasible if companies like Samsung, Hyundai, and Naver, along with public institutions, keep updating and expanding their services as the chips come in. Securing high-performance GPUs is certainly encouraging, but how they are used, for what purposes, and how effectively they are allocated will be a key factor shaping South Korea's future with AI. All right, Chan, thank you so much for breaking that down for us today. Always a pleasure.